Oh my gosh. I wish I had noticed that earlier. Okay, so we've got to go do a pickup real quick. And this one's probably about 25 minutes away. And I want to get back here within an hour and a half, so we're gonna have to hustle. This is kind of a cool pickup. Came up today. Oh, do I have the money? Yeah, this one costs money. Some of them are like that. Yeah, so we're picking up two mowers. One is a, a Craftsman, it's a professional series, they call it. It's a 27 horse, 54 inch cut. It hasn't run in a, they said it's been parked, gosh, four years maybe? It's one of those mowers that if you don't have a zero turn and you're just mowing, this would be a great one to have if it runs good. It's a 54 inch cut and I think these ones turn pretty sharply and are foot pedal hydrostatic. And then also a John Deere, oh gosh, what is it? LX176, something like that. Like a 14 horse Kawasaki. So he won $100 for the Craftsman and $50 for the John Deere. I'm gonna go ahead and pay that. But here's the clincher. The Craftsman has one of the kind of electric power scoops or whatever on the front. Kind of a front end loader for a lawnmower. But I mean, obviously it's not like a real front end loader and that it can't go very high. It's like a slip scoop type deal. And I've always been kind of fascinated by those just because I always wanted a loader. Now I do have a loader, so I don't really need it, something like this. But I'm just really curious how well it would work. And it's worth more than the $100 for the mower. So I think I can recoup everything just off of that one um, slip scoop, Johnny Bucket loader type thing. And yeah, so that's the plan. Kind of a quick overview of what I'm doing and let's go get them. All right, here we are. see the loader arm sticking up back there. I'll be interested to see how that thing works. It looks like it's pretty much manual. I thought for some reason there was some electrical part on it, but it seems like it's pretty much manual with some um, trip levers. Let's get on home. Okay, so here's the hull. Craftsman Professional, 27 horsepower, 54 inch cut. Got a nice 54 inch deck here. It looks to be mostly intact from what I can see right here. It does have a um, sunshade, which is nice. The winch worked great to get this mower up in here. I did not take any video of that, unfortunately, but that was the easiest part of this whole, this whole pickup was using that winch. That just worked great. This was the hardest part, trying to get this thing bench pressed over the rail. So here we got a John Deere LX176 with a 14 horse Kawasaki and a decently valuable hood if it's not broken too much. A little hairline right there. But you know, if I get this one running, that'd be really cool. These silly Kawasaki's sometimes are hard to get running without they running in a while. They've got funky electronics on them. Oh my gosh. I wish I'd noticed that earlier. That engine is totally shot. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> if I get this one running, that'd be really cool. A little bit of a surprise to me. Hopefully this engine's in a lot better shape. Um, but on this John Deere, it's got a deck that looks to be in good shape. The hood lower that is there. The transmission, I, this is still gonna make me plenty of money. When I can get it parted out, I just can't test the transmission very well. If you want numbers, I'm gonna ballpark this transmission probably hmm, 150, 200 bucks. The deck, that deck could be worth like three or four hundred dollars if I can get it to the right person. It's just a matter of how to sell it. It looks pretty clean. It's a rear discharge, that's kind of cool. 
Um, I haven't really messed a lot with the rear discharge decks. So you can see all the funneling for the back there. But it's all kind of plasticky. I don't know. Oh, it's even got quad blades on there, like four. Blades on each one. The hood's probably another hundred bucks. So we're probably looking at four, six, seven hundred dollars possibly on this. So I think we'll easily make our five hundred dollar minimum or our five hundred dollar target. Now this one here, um, I don't know what that engine is like, and I'm a little worried since I just found that other engine was toast. But this transmission is probably a $200 transmission as well. The deck there is probably $200, those 54 inch decks are, if the deck is okay. He said there's something wrong, so I'll, I'll need to check that deck out. Um, I've also got a parts deck, so if I need to pick something on there, it shouldn't be too bad. So that's probably like $400 right there. The engine is worth probably another $400, so we're looking at $800. The hood. It's kind of nasty looking, but might be worth something. Probably $150. This scoop here. So we're at about $800 possibly. And this scoop here is probably worth $100, $250, $200. So we're looking at around $1,000 probably in parts here. Although I do have to get the engine up and running. So yeah, easily worth it in my mind. And then that sunshade is probably worth another $100 is my guess. Um, doesn't look like much, but... That's my guess is they're probably worth a hundred bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I don't know if there's a lot of used ones floating around out there. And that rake looks like scrap metal to me. I don't even know how this would fit on anything. Maybe you can tell me. Anyway, there she be. This is our haul for the day. Let's see if we can figure out a safe way to get this thing unloaded because this is kind of rolled over in here or out of here. It's going to be fun. Let's get the ramp lowered and see what we can do. That was the hardest part. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this bumper has a little crack in it. And I don't know if that was there. But these bumpers are cheap. They're like 20 bucks. The hoods are worth like 100 bucks. So I think we're okay. And I'd say it was free, except for I paid 50 bucks for this thing. That's okay. Gotta find somewhere to throw it up there and come back and get the big one. So here's this fancy bucket that I was so interested in. It's kind of a unique contraption, but basically you operate it with these two levers. I think this one, oh, this is the dump. I can see how that's hinged down there. And this one here is the entire contraption. But we have latches here. I don't know if you can see that, but my trigger here on this finger, it runs that pin, which needs to slide in to that hole, I believe, so that needs to be adjusted a little bit. It locks in down at the bottom here. And the whole thing uses these hooks right here to hook on. So it hooks on down there on those pins, and this top pin slides through right here. I'm curious just how much, like how much you can do with that bucket. I always thought it'd be really cool to have one because I wanted a front and loader. I think I should try to put it on the tractor because I was kind of thinking to part this thing out. I don't know that I'm going to get it all running and going as a whole. If I did, it'd probably be worth over a thousand bucks with that bucket and the sun canopy if that's any good. I mean, in today, this was a nice mower, but it's got the 
foot pedal operated transmission again, which I think I already mentioned, but I mean, that'd be perfect for loader type work. And a 54 inch deck, it's actually, this is perfect for pretty much everything. This is a really cool setup. Okay, uh, enough dilly dallying. Let's get this thing um, stowed away. I've been busy um, picking up a few more mowers, and here's one right here. I actually got this a couple weeks ago now, a few weeks. And um, this is a nice size kind of yard tractor, garden tractor. Main issue with this one is the engine has a hole on the side of it right there. Yeah. So, engine's toast, but it's got a good hood on here. The deck looks good. And we got one of the undersea gas tanks, which can be worth quite a bit. And a foot pedal transmission. So I think we've got several valuable parts on here. Um, probably most valuable to me is gonna be the transmission and the gas tank. Um, I'm thinking the gas tank's probably $150, transmission probably $150, $200. So we're looking probably $350 right there. The deck, um, it's a 48. Not quite as high demand for that as for the 54s, but 48 inch deck like that's probably worth 100 to 200 dollars. <throat> probably just depends on the time of year, and then the hood's probably worth 100 bucks. So probably 350. That's fairly easy money. The, in, the transmission and gas tank, and then another, you know, another potentially two or 300 dollars. That'll probably be harder to sell. And of course the rest of it will probably scrap, but the seat's good, so hang on to the seat. And then um, the other day we picked up these. So this one, this one's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice looking. It's orange. No, in all seriousness, it looks like it's pretty clean. And from what the previous owner told me, it may not be a major fix. It might be a, uh, might be a major fix, but it might be a minor one. So he said, that it stopped running mid-season and he found gas in his oil so he's thinking the engine needs to be torn down i'm thinking if it's just gas in the oil now i don't know why it stopped running uh, whatever but if it's just gas in the oil and it wasn't run like that for too much it could be a really simple fix it could be as simple as um fixing whatever caused the gas to get into the oil which is most likely a carburetor issue because that's where the fuel comes from right carburetor and changing the oil out and it could be good to go so if that's the case we might have an easy fix and have an 800 hundred dollar mower here on our hands which would be nice i mean it's again the seat's pretty good just starting to separate up here but still a really good functioning seat without really cracks and tears the tires look like they're all holding air still which is good so they've been holding air several air several days he said the transmission was good, and this deck, it's that good old Husqvarna 46 inch cut deck, which I really like these mowers as a whole, and the deck performs pretty well, but it has this one issue, which is that the mounts get broken off and have to be re-welded. This has been re-welded, and I think that's a decent job, should hold it fine. Normally, it's the mount on the other side, and that one's been re-welded as well. And it looks like they also rewelded this on here. So, Escobar needs to do a little better on their welding. And he also had this John Deere, which he was using since that one wasn't working, but he said this one's 20 years old and the engine just doesn't have a lot of power. He said it felt more like seven or eight horsepower, not the 13 horsepower on here. But he said the transmission works well and the deck works well. And I think I'd take, him, take his word for it, especially a gear drive transmission. It's probably just fine. So I'll probably sell that one as a working transmission if I can. The seats, decent condition. You could probably touch those up with some Plasti Dip, which I've never tried. So this John Deere, I haven't actually priced it out yet. Um, again, transmission is probably gonna be 150 bucks. And I don't know if there's any other super valuable parts on here. The John Deere 
38 inch deck if I can get it to the right buyer that'd be a good one 150 the deck's probably worth a couple hundred bucks 150 to 200 so we're looking at 300 300 plus dollars for the John Deere the Husqvarna it's probably worth 800 bucks running at the right time of year maybe 700 yeah probably 700 I tend to hold out and try to get a higher price but yeah um, so that's the haul and we've got more coming tomorrow so I need to get these ones offloaded and um, be ready for some pickups tomorrow one in the morning maybe two in the morning we'll see beautiful morning and I'm about ready to go head out and pick up that next mower. Let's go. good to have. Let's get on home and get this thing unloaded. Okay, so this one is a Craftsman with a 20 horse Kohler V-twin and a hydrostatic transmission. So, let's see. There's no deck on here. That tire looks pretty good. It's got the new stubble on it. Tires dry cracked but holding air. Unless of course you just aired them up right before I got there or something. Front tires holding air good. Got a bumper. Hood looks decent. And yeah, got some pine needles on here. So he said this engine runs. It's just um, got a bad connector on the bottom of the fuel tank. Like the 90 degree fitting that comes out the bottom. Which I believe him. Right there. Yeah, that 90 degree fitting is um yeah, that's not good. This thing is kind of a garden tractor type mower. I think that we can get, that's probably a three, three, four hundred dollar engine. Probably four hundred dollars if, if it runs good with no smoke. Uh, it's not too oily there. Usually it's the other side that goes bad. Let's see what this one looks like. That head looks really good for a Kohler. It's not too oily. So, uh, we're looking at 400, 150, 550 plus dollars for this mower. So I think this is a good one to pick up, even though there's no deck on it. Um, that's fine. It's close, quick, easy, and free. I like it. We have a lot of work to do this winter, get stuff parted out and get things fixed up and ready for sale for spring. Mm -hmm. 